Hi, I'm Sarah from Dolls and Daydreams. Today I'm going to run you through some of the patterns we've released this year. Oh my goodness, we've released 30 patterns this year. Can't quite believe that, but it's true. So we started the year off with a very fun little Murpup pattern. I rather like him. We ended last year on the Mer Cat, and this is kind of her brother in a kind of crazy Tom and Jerry dog chasing the cat, not the mouse kind of way. <laughs> but they're in water because they're mer pets. <laughs> then we led on with this with our ice cream. I do love a nice ice cream, I have to admit. <laughs> and this little chap is our koala. He's very, very fun and easy. And just like the merpets, these are quick kid patterns. They're super fun and super fast. Next came, well, this is my superstar pattern, I have to admit. It's the mushroom baby. Now, as you all know from my crazy Facebook posts, it was featured in the new Alita movie. Can't quite believe it's happened. I had to release the In The Hoop version. And this is just an adorable pattern. I absolutely love it for obvious reasons. <laughs> then next on the list, it was the Tiny Top range. I decided to make this range last year and I started with the Tiny Top pattern years and years ago, back in 2011. It's been a sewing pattern for a while. It's been a fan favorite. And I really wanted to do something special for little kids. It is a small pattern. It's just perfect for little hands and hugs and kisses and shoving in a little pocket. And I suddenly thought, wouldn't it be fun if I made a little tote to go along with it? So the Tiny Tot range was born. And we released Tiny Tot and her tote this year in both sewing patterns. Yes, it's an updated version and in the in the hoop patterns and they are so much fun to make and are so loved by little ones now let's not forget the tiny top face pack it's super cute you've got at least eight faces they are so so darling and you can just interchange it with the entire range oh hang on have i just given away the fact that i might be uh releasing another tiny top range person soon hmm wonder if you can guess what it is we followed up this range with the tiny top bun bun pattern for Easter. Oh, it's Easter time. Well, bunnies can be used all time of the year, can't they? I mean, who doesn't love a bunny? So yes, I had to make a bunny version in their very own carrot tote. And these again are just darling and you can even put your little Easter egg finds in the tote along with bunny, unless you're giving it cuddles and kisses. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Then next on the list was the Miss Tippy Toe Bunny. I absolutely love this bunny because I love Miss Tippy Toe so much, I knew I had to make her a bunny friend. She has that sort of Sailor Moon kawaii cute outfit on, which of course you can mix and match with any of my other dress up doll ranges. The appliques will simply work for everybody. That's what I love about the dress up range. But this little Miss Bunny has two features that you're going to love. And one is the fact that she has thumbs. Yep, she does, and it's cute, and I love that. And she has carrots on her toes. Oh my goodness, the cuteness overload. If I could find a pair of shoes with carrots on for Easter, I'd wear them. I also threw in some eggs for fun. I mean, it's Easter, and who doesn't like a nice little Easter egg? I love the little leggies running around, like it's trying to get out of its shell, but it can't. It's just cute. And then we have the peekaboo one, which is just darling. So spring is here and we're coming up to summer. And I thought, right, what are some patterns that I've been meaning to do for absolutely ages? Well, the first one was obviously Master Tippy Toes. I've had so many requests for this to be done in the hoop. And it's because, well, he's a fantastic base for a Harry Potter doll. He really is. I didn't actually go into this thinking that. I wanted him to be sort of like a geek, like this real studious schoolboy. but I can't get over how many Harry Potter fans out there have very, very easily, with different colors, changed him into a Harry Potter doll. He's just adorable, and boys and girls love him alike. And then I wanted something a little bit different. Summery, springtime, I'm thinking babies. No, 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 no. 
I don't need any more babies. I've got my two and I'm happy with that. <laughs> not broody. I'm not broody, I'm telling you. But I had to make the Swan Dress Up doll. Now, well, softy, I guess, but I just love her. She's so sweet. She'd be perfect in pretty pastels. I see her in a nursery. I see her, you know, hugging a little girl. I just, there's something very pretty and soft and gentle about her. I really, really like her. And I'm pleased that I could bring her to the range. Let's have some fun, it's summer. I wanted to make a splash with the Mer Unicorn. Now, he'd been, uh, or she'd been, on my pattern list for a while. In fact, I had her made up last year, but my list is so long, I can't seem to publish quickly enough. And so her friends, the Mer Cat and Mer Pup, are so pleased she's joined them. It's a fun, quick kids pattern. So again, perfect for teaching your kids to sew this summer, summer holidays, summer break, or as little party favors. I really love the quick kids patterns. And then I finished off with that Alice in Wonderland in the hoop doll. Now this again has been on my pattern list for ages, much, much requested, probably because of her absolutely fabulous hair. I love her hair. It's just different. It's all in one. You don't have to worry about adding anything into your sandwiches. I think she's really versatile. She doesn't have to be Alice. Um, the sewing pattern, again, has always, always been a fan favorite. And you can mix and match because she's part of our dress up range. So her hairstyle, her head can be popped on. Oh, that sounds rather macabre, doesn't it? <laughs> but <laughs> grab your in the hoop software and pop her head onto another dolly or vice versa, interchange, and you'll have a fantastic new dress up doll. Super versatile. Oh, I almost forgot the clothes patterns. Yes, I decided we really should add some clothes to our range this year. I know everybody loves a good old dress up. I know I do. Hmm, when am I next going so to? So we have the bunting pattern. This is a super simple, easy bunting pattern. I love it. It's just snuggly and warm. You can whip it up in a flash, grab all your nice fuzzy fleeces and just get stitching this weekend. And I had to add the bonus face mask because, I mean, Sometimes dollies like to go to bed before us, so. And then we have the t-shirt pattern, another request that has been going on for years. Again, apologies off oh, this list, but I'm getting through it, I promise. Now, I love the t-shirt. Don't be scared of knit fabrics. My best advice is use a ball point needle and just go for it. Have a practice. It's really not difficult. This is a very, very, very easy pattern and it comes in two styles. So you can have different colored sleeves to the main uh, fabric <laughs> or you can have it all in one. It's really versatile and looks super cute on your boy dress up dolls and your girls. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you've caught up on all of my patterns this year. Oh, it was quite a list but I'm so excited to have been able to have brought them to you. And I absolutely love seeing them pop up in my Facebook group. It's just a joy to see all of your creations. Please think about subscribing. I almost said that wrong again. <laughs> Please think about subscribing and giving me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment on your favorite pattern that I've released this year or any requests you'd like for patterns for the rest of the year. I might already have some in production. I hope you have enjoyed this. Take care and happy sewing.